Boom, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So, you know, I've been saying this in the last video or two that I got new S2000 side strakes. Well, today we're gonna be finally prepping it for some paint and hopefully we can paint it in this video as well. So, so as you can see right here, this is the S2000 side strakes and I'll quickly show you guys where it goes for those who didn't watch the last two videos. But for those who did, you'll know where it goes, but I'll quickly show you guys and you know, basically the sun's already set, so hopefully you guys can see it. So hopefully you guys can see it. I know it's a bit dark, you know, late start today, but basically it's just a piece that goes right here. So there it is guys, it's that corner piece right there. I know it's not much, but you know, it still adds a bit to the car, as you can see right there. Like I'm happy with, without it, but you know, I bought it, so why not use it, eh? That is how it sits. And you know, obviously this isn't my OEM color, so therefore, you know, I have to respray. So what I'm gonna be doing now is actually sanding the paint off or scuffing it, and then I can spray some primer, and then I can spray some base coat, which is the color, and then I can finally spray on the clear coat. And you know, hopefully I do this well, because, you know, for those OG subscribers, it was one of my first few videos. I actually sprayed my plastic AP1 lip as well. But the thing was, everything turned out right, but it didn't have the glossy finish. So the blue turned out pretty good, but it dried as a matte. So that was the downside. So hopefully when I respray this one, it has that nice glossy finish. Cause if it's matte again, then, you know, I stuffed up and probably have to respray it. So yep guys, this is what I'm basically using. As you can see, we have some sandpaper and we have some clear coat primer and some base coat so these are empty but I just left it there to show you guys what I'm actually going to be using so once again sandpaper to you know scuff it up or get rid of all the paint and then we hit it with some primer base coat and clear coat so first things first let's get sanding or trying to scuff up the old paint So I've finally done sanding or scuffing up the S2000 side strokes and I reckon it's ready for some primer. So it is late now and you know, I don't actually have the primer like I said before so I have to go to the shops tomorrow. So in the meantime, I'll show you guys what I did to the S2000 side strokes. As you can see right here, I didn't really take the paint off, only some bits, but I just scuffed it up so then the primer has something to bite to. So hopefully it still turns out well. Cause with my AP1 lip, we actually took off everything until we reached the black plastic, but this is how it looks now. As you can see, no more gloss. It's just scuffed up and yeah. So yeah, that's done for the sanding bit. I'll catch you guys tomorrow when I spray the primer on. Tomorrow. So guys, it is a new day today and I finally got all the other products. As you can see right here, or I'm about to show you guys, I got the primer, the paint and the clear coat. So as you can see right here, went to Super Cheap Auto and they mixed the custom Monty color blue to match my car out there. As you can see, hopefully it's the right one. And also, you know, I've got some primer filler and some clear coat. Not the same brand, but hopefully it still does the job. And also it's a bit cold today, but I can't be stuff waiting for next week. So, you know, I'm gonna try and tempt it today. I'm gonna do that old school method, which is dip the can in some warm water so then you know it doesn't splatter and it sprays more even and we'll see I might turn on the heater to you know keep this room warm so then it can spray up better because it says to spray about 15 degrees but today is only what max 9 degrees 10 degrees so I'm not too sure how that's gonna work so like I said we're gonna turn on the heater and let's hope for the best so first things first I'm gonna quickly scuff the side strikes with some 600 grit sandpaper wax and grease remover and then we can start the first layer of primer
Alright guys, welcome back to day 3, technically day 2, whatever, but the side strikes finally finished and it turned out sick as like, I thought it was going to finish with that matte finish because when I sprayed it on and it was drying last night, it kind of looked mattish, but out in the sun right now, you can tell that definitely gloss. Alright guys, so here it is, as you can see right here, the side strikes in the multi colored blue and look how glossy it is. Looks way glossier in person, but I think the camera does it justice too. Look at that. There you go. Damn. And color for color, um, you can definitely tell that the side strakes are lighter, like way lighter. So I don't know if I didn't put enough layers on the side strake or because the car's, you know, like 20 years old, so the paint went darker. But but in a way, DIY job done. And what I'm gonna do now is attempt to polish it by hand. And then, yeah, we can try and store it today, I guess. Alright guys, so here it is, just finished polishing it. Look at that. Probably looks the same on camera, but in real life, it's actually 100 times way shinier. Look at that. Damn. So I guess we can really install it now, eh? Or attempt to. So we have now finished installing the S2000 side strakes. It is finally on the car and I'm ready to show you guys. So guys, as you can see, the S2000 side strakes are now installed. As you can see right there, look at that, damn. Who knew that a little piece could make such a difference, eh? Like it's not a big, big difference, but it just adds to the look, eh? Look at that, damn, 100 times, way better. So first impressions, you probably already know that look. By looking at it, the color is slightly off. So the side strike is brighter or lighter than the actual car. So, so I'm not too sure if it's me, you know, not spraying enough layers or if they didn't mix the paint properly at the shop or with the car being 20 years old that, you know, the, the color is getting faded and getting darker. But other than that, it's pretty lit. Look at that. From certain angles, like right here, the color difference isn't too bad. Like it looks pretty much the same, but from certain angles, like right here, you'll notice that the side strike is actually way lighter, but it doesn't really matter. It was DIY home job anyways, and it's close enough, eh? So there you go. Fitment is pretty much on point. So the way I installed it was, you know, two screws at the back right here, one and two. And then as you saw before, I put some double-sided tape because I didn't really want to drill under the car or onto the, you know, the bottom piece here. So that's why I went for a double-sided tape. So yeah, so it was an easy install. Like I said, two screws, double sided tape, and done. Look at that. And I love how this carbon piece sits right underneath. Look at that. Feel it pretty flush on this side too, as you can see. Pretty sick. But however, on the driver's side, I'm not too sure what happened, but the filament isn't on point. So here it is, guys. Here's the driver's side. You know, looks alright, but however, like I said, the driver's side filament isn't as good as the passenger side. So it's meant to be two bolts, but I could only get one, as you can see. 
there was only one bolt. Like this one, there was no point drilling into it because you know it doesn't reach anything. And also, like I said, the fitment right here isn't as good. Like with this double sided tape as well, you know, it just doesn't want to stick properly. So I might have to redo this side. I would have left it, but I realized this morning that water is getting in. So, you know, that's probably not good. But yeah, it still looks all right though, even though it's not as good as the other side. So here's from the rear quarter panel area. As you can see, the side strokes are looking mint. And, you know, like I said, it's nothing big, but it adds to the casting. And here from the front quarter panel, damn, it's looking sick, eh? Bro. Damn, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Look at that. Damn, 100 times way better or nah? Like I said before, you know, it's nothing major, it's nothing big, but it still adds to the look of the car, and it kind of suits everything and finishes off the car as well. Look at that. 2000 side streets. So yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. This install was pretty easy. As you know, all I had to do was respray it, jack up the car, put two bolts, and yeah, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you like the new S2000 side strokes, make sure to give this video a fat like, P-H-A-T, and comment down below what you guys think. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters.